Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to talk about the book that I picked for March book of the month which was The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. I picked this book this month because I really really loved my pick from her last year which was The Guest List. I also got The Guest List through book of the month and I have but I have not read her really popular first mystery which is called The Hunting Party. It's been sitting on my shelf for years. I haven't read it yet, but I've heard it's really, really good. So I loved the guest list. I felt like it was a super quick page turner. I read it really fast. I was sucked in, loved the mystery. It was less of a thriller than it is a mystery. And the same thing was true with the Paris apartment. It's not really designed to be a thriller. It's a mystery. You're trying to figure out what's happening, who's connected, who is who. That is done really, really well in this book. I've seen a lot of two-sidedness to this book. People either really love it or they thought it was okay. In my opinion, this one was good. It didn't compare to how I liked the guest list. I thought this one was a little bit more predictable and not as exciting. Sorry, I'm trying to record this video and my baby just wants to play with all the really, really loud toys. So if that bothers you, I'm, I'm sorry, but you might hear her in the background. There are some trigger warnings in this and I feel like if there are some sensitive topics um, that you may not want to read, look into this a little bit more maybe look into the author's description the publisher's description i don't want to say it in the video because i feel like it will give away spoilers um, because it isn't on the back of the book that i have so i don't know what is said and i don't want to give things away because that's some of the like aha moments or things that you are revealed one of the things i did think lucy did really really well in this book was She's the queen at the reveal when she wants you to know certain information. And that was really prevalent in this as well. And I do think that that keeps you interested in the story. But I do think that this one specifically was a little long in the middle. I really, really loved her like short chapter style that she used in the guest list. And a lot of these chapters were short too but a lot of them were a lot longer than her last book. And I feel like for her style, the short chapters just really lend better. And I was kind of just getting bored in the long chapters. I'm definitely not gonna say what happens, but I was satisfied with the ending. I didn't think it was a five star ending. It did leave me satisfied. It left me happy. I didn't have the shock factor that I had in her other book that I read but I still was content at the end. Overall, I'd give this one three stars. It was good. I liked it, um, but I didn't think it was absolutely amazing. Probably wouldn't read it again and think that there are a lot of people who would like this book and who would enjoy the mystery of it. This one didn't really have spice, so I don't really think that there's chili peppers for this, so I would give it a spice rating of zero. However, there were adult things that happened or like fade to black scenes that were described. So I do think that this is an 18 or older book. All right, I'm gonna finish this review so that my baby can go play and doesn't have to be quiet. Um, but I hope you enjoy The Paris Apartment. I will put a link to the book down below in the description. I'll also put a link to my book of the month in case you are interested in signing up for that and getting a book delivered to your door every month. Don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.